Hey everyone, welcome to another process video. I'm Jenny and today I am making a boys layout with no boy themed papers or anything like that. So I just want to show you that you can do masculine layouts or boys layouts um, without having to use themed papers. I think it's easy for us to do girls layouts um, quite often but boys layouts seem to be more of a struggle for people so all I wanted to do was to show you today that you can use some things in your stash and come up with a great layout so I've got this cut file here from the cut shop and I will put a link to um, that in the description box down the below if I forget please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that I let you know um, what it's called and I am just trimming this piece of paper down I think these two pieces were from a Heidi swap collection and I'm just gutting out the middle there and it doesn't matter if it's straight because I'll just use that um, piece for a scrap so I can trim it off later and I've just trimmed this main bl um, blue piece down a little bit and I have added that to this photo mat and I'm just showing you there that I'm using a collection from Kaiser Craft and it is called Shine Bright. So I've got the 6x6 paper pad and also the die cut pack. So I loved this black stripy piece in this paper pad and I knew that I really wanted to use that as a real visual pop. So you saw me um, put some colour on this cut file. So I've just grabbed my watercolour paint and wet that down a bit. And I just um, roughly painted every second row with a swipe of colour. So that just gave a little bit of visual interest as well. And I've just used the photo of my son. There he is. Look how cute he is. When he was a little boy, he was about four years old there and um, cute little man that he is and I wanted to take the cue from his clothes and so that's where I've got the colour scheme from today. So I've got that nice yellowy orange colour from the fish on his t-shirt and the blue from the background, um, the blue background from his t-shirt as well. And so all I'm doing now is I've grabbed some foam dots and I've just cut them in half and I'm just adding them to the back of you know some of these hearts not all of them and just sticking them down and I know that I don't need to do a lot of embellishing I'm, I can leave a lot of the embellishment alone because this cut file is so gorgeous and it doesn't need much and that black and white photo underneath the photo mat underneath is very strong as well so it's giving plenty of interest onto on the page and I don't really need to add much. So I really wanted to leave this one quite simple. You'll see at the end that I added some bits and pieces, but I still think that it's pretty simple for me and, you know, it's busy, but not too busy. So I've just put some foam on half of that love. So the V and the E. And I have put some wet glue on the L and the O because I have this photo propped up on some foam tape. So now all of the layers are even. So I'm just going through this sticker collection sheet from Teresa Collins from the Something Wonderful collection. And I'm just adding a few elements. So I put in that little black and white striped sticker. And I decided that I didn't like it under there and I wanted to add it to the top of the page to put a little bit of um, colour up there and interest. And so I'm also trying to add that little banner into a few places, the little triangle, but I end up not using that and just putting that away. So I've just grabbed this little square that says laugh and I add that to the photo and it's hanging over a little bit on the left hand side and I'm still trying to put that down and I think it's just that it's a it's a triangle sort of element right next to a circle element that just to me just seemed wrong so I pulled out my enamel dots and I'm trying to find some colors that match and I found these bright orange ones and then I got sidetracked by these little stickers and had a brainwave that I could 
put some of these stickers down and add some more interest to these little heart circle areas. So I've got a couple that say, remember this, this is happiness, this is good, you are my happy, I loved you from the start, and I want to remember. So I just thought they were a really nice little um, sentiment, except you can see here, I couldn't get some of them off, so I think I got a dodgy pack um, of stickers, and I had to get my craft knife and actually cut them apart. And here I am, I'm using my Tim Holtz um, Tiny Attacher and of course it's not going to make it all the way under and I thought that I might just try to open it and press down but that didn't work and then I realised, okay, I can just pull the foam dots up and get my Tiny Attacher in that way. So I've just added a little staple to every little sticker sheet, little sticker strip there and just making sure that that's attached and that adds another little bit of um, interest to the page as well and added texture and I am just about done so putting on my black ink and you will see at the end in the stills that I did come back and add those enamel dots even though I didn't put them um, on the film so I'm finished up for now so I'll leave you with some stills thank you for joining me today and I hope you're inspired just to pull out a cut file and your papers and make an awesome boy layout that is not overly themed or it's not themed at all so yeah i'll see you next time bye